And we have our opening. What's up guys? Joseph Rackets here from josephrackets.com. Now today, in a four minute Friday video, I'm gonna show you how you can get more upper chest growth. Now the most common problem in the gym when people are trying to activate their upper chest is the other muscles, the secondary muscles, such as their shoulders, their triceps, overtake the exercise and it results in less stress on the upper chest. So I'm gonna show you a few tips and techniques that allows me to eliminate these muscle groups as much as possible while placing most of the stress up on the upper chest. So today, in this video, we're going to be doing the incline um, dumbbell press here. Now the most common way that I see this performed in the gym is like this. They get the two dumbbells, they sit down on the bench, and they just start pushing up like this. What's happening right there, guys? The chest is being deactivated, the shoulders are rolling over, and then you're also locking out with your elbows. So all that's doing is deactivating the chest, deactivating the upper chest, putting the stress on the shoulders, the front delts, and when you fully lock out, you just take the stress off all the muscles and place it on your elbows. Defeats the whole purpose of performing this exercise. So the tip or technique that I want to share with you guys to eliminate your shoulders as much as possible and place as much stress as you can on the upper chest is you want to sit down on the bench, you want to drop your traps down, and then you want to pinch your shoulder blades back together like this. Then puff your chest up. Really exaggerate that puff chest. What this does is it eliminates your shoulders as much as possible. They're still going to be used as a secondary muscle somewhat, but you want to eliminate as much as you can. So dropping your traps, pinching your shoulder blades back together, and puffing your chest will do that. Now you're going to do your reps. You're going to go right the way down and just use a partial range of motion. Reason being is because at the lowest range of motion, right down here, is where the most chest activation is. The higher you push up, the less chest, the more tricep and the more shoulder come over. Also, if you completely lock out like this, deactivate the chest completely, all the stress is on your triceps, your shoulders and your elbows. And that is defeating the purpose of trying to work the chest. Now, when you're doing a flat bench or a decline, it's a little bit easier to put the stress in your chest. However, as soon as you go to an incline bench, because of the angle, your shoulders are going to come into play a lot more. And the way to get around that is that technique that I just showed you. So right now, I'm about to perform my set, and you guys take a look at how I do that. So I sit down, drop my traps down, pinch my shoulder blades back together, puff my chest up, right the way down, partial range of motion. So I'm not going out to here and locking out. Right the way down, partial. And that right there guys is a great technique that I like to use with all my upper chest training to really place more stress on the upper pectoral. Now doing that is going to result in more muscle fibers ripped across the top, which is going to result in more muscle growth, providing that your diet is on point, providing that consuming enough protein, carbohydrates and fats to meet you and your specific goals. And if any of you guys need help with a diet, a meal plan to help you reach your fitness goals, whether it be building muscle or burning body fat, I can help you, I'm an online personal trainer. Click the link in the description box down below for more info on what my 12 week program includes. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next 4 Minute Friday video.